Hello, this is Mr. Bloom with Academic Geometry at Paytel High School. This is the homework that I assigned to you today, Monday, September 23rd. We're talking about sloping and graphing lines. You guys started your pamphlet here on notes on graphing and writing equations of lines. And so now we're going to do some activities to practice that. Um, let's get started. So I described a slope as steepness of a line. It's the rate of vertical rise change to horizontal run. It's kind of the ratio between those two X and Y items. This was the activity went through for class, for slope man. And let's get started. Oh, and I just wanted to remind you of the uh, equation for slope. It's just the difference between our y coordinates and our x coordinates. So I'm going to do that. So here's my x1, y1, x2, y2. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, I'm going to plug in my numbers. 5 minus 3. I have negative 15. Subtract 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 15 minus 2 is a negative 17. My slope is negative 2 seventeenths. This one. I'm just going to plug them in. 4 minus 7 over negative 4 minus a negative 4. Well, a minus negative 4 is plus plus. You see that these are the same items that were subtracted in the denominator? Well, that's going to be 0. So we have negative 3 over 0. And this is undefined slope because we cannot divide by 0. It's not possible. Let's go to this. So one way, one strategy for finding, finding the x-intercept is solving for x. Right now, this is already solved for us. So this is our y-intercept right there, 4. So I can put 4 right on there. That's one of my points of my line for my function y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. Now the other way we can solve for x-intercept, there's lots of strategies, but I want to show you we're going to solve for x. So solving for x, we're going to move this positive 4. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to subtract 4. So I get y minus 4 equals a negative 1 half x. All right? So I'm multiplying by negative 1 half x. This is just like, um, well, let's, let me show you. These cancel. This is negative 1 half over negative 1 half. These cancel. They're the same. But now I've got two things here that I'm dividing a negative 1 half by. And I want you, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite this. Let me grab some scratch paper here. And I'm going to rewrite this right here, y minus 4 divided by a negative 1 half. All right? Now, you guys remember in seventh grade, you guys had K KCF, which is keep, change, flip. It, when we were dividing by a fraction, it changed this into a uh, multiplication sign. All right? Or a multiplication operation. So we're gonna we've got this thing in the in the parentheses, but it still applies. It's two things to distribute or to, to to multiply or divide by, but this can apply. So this is keep. I'm gonna keep this exactly the same. Y minus four, and this is gonna change to multiply. And then F stands for flip. We're gonna flip the numerator and the denominator. We still have a negative there, but we're multiplying by a negative 2 over 1. So this operation 
becomes multiplication, and we're multiplying by negative 2. So let's do that. Let's do that. So I'm going to move this to the front. I'm going to move negative 2 over 1 to the front. So times 1 y minus 4. It's just easier to show you the distribution here. So we can disregard what's in the denominator. It's just a 1. So because 1 times anything is just itself. So this is negative 2 times y and negative 2 times a negative 4. So negative 2 times y is just negative 2y. Negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8. All right? So I told you that these canceled, so we just end up with x. And this <coughs> is negative 2y plus 8. So we've solved for x there. What we have here is my x-intercept. Now we can graph it. The direction says graph the following lines given the equations. That is the graph of y equals negative one half x plus four. My x intercept is eight, my y intercept is four. Let's do this one. I'm going to solve for x. So to do that I'm going to subtract two y. Solving for x will give me my x-intercept. Now I'm dividing by 3, dividing by 3, dividing by 3. x equals a negative 2 thirds y plus 4. That's my x-intercept right there, 4. 4. Let's, do, let's solve for y. y, I'm going to subtract 3x. So I get 2y equals a minus 3x plus 12. I'm dividing by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. That's my y-intercept. So let me write this out. This becomes y minus 3 halves x plus 6. And that's my y-intercept. 2, 4, 6. Graph the following equations given the information provided. And there you are. Well, I kind of missed my line there, but there's the graph. And I'm going to, I can write the equation, all right, or not. Next one. I'm going to solve for x and get my x intercept. So I'm going to add 7y, add 7y. So I get 5x equals 7y plus 35. I'm divided by 5, divided by 5, divided by 5. This cancels, so I get x equals 7 fifths y plus 7. That's my x-intercept. It's 7, 2, 4, 6, 7. Now I'm going to do my y-intercept. I'm going to solve for y. So to solve for y, I'm going to subtract 5x. Subtracting 5x, Subtracting 5x, I'm kind of skipping some lines here, but I have a negative 7y equals a negative 5x plus 35. I'm going to divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7. 35, or negative 7, is my y-intercept. So 35 divided by negative 7, that is negative 5. So my y, 2, 4, 5, is negative 5. That's the front page on the homework. What are we doing? I'm nine minutes into this. Let's go to the back. We've got a system of equations. Remember in class, I told you there's three outcomes for a system of equations. One solution, which means we've got two lines, two functions intersecting at a point. That is an example of one solution. All right. We have uh, no solutions. That's when we have two parallel lines. We have two parallel lines that don't intersect. That's 
no solution. And then the third outcome, there's only three possibilities, is infinitely many solutions. And that's when we have the same equation, it just looks like slightly different. And it's, it's uh, the lines are the same on top of each other. So I'm going to say, uh, this is the sign for infinitely many solutions. So those are the three outcomes that we can do when we're doing a system of equations. No solution, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. So please remember that. So let's go. Let's do this. We're going to do this by graphing. There's, there's other s uh, strategies for doing this, but that's the, what we're going to use. So to graph this, I can figure out my x-intercepts. So this is already set up to solve for x. So I'm solving for x. I need to add 4y to both sides. So I get x equals 4y plus 2. This is my x-intercept right there. So let's graph it. Now I'm going to solve this equation for y. So to solve this for y, well, let me write this down. i got to move my x. So I get negative 4y equals a negative x plus 2. And I'm going to divide by 4, divide by 4, negative 4, divide by negative 4. And so this gets, this becomes y equals a positive 1 fourth x um, minus 1 half. So this is my y-intercept is a minus 1 half. Okay, so it's right there. And this is my equation for that line. Connect the two points. Oops. Right there. Let's do this one. This is already set up for us. So we've got the y-intercept there. My y-intercept right here is 3. Now let's solve for x and figure out our x-intercept. So to solve for x, we're going to subtract 3, both sides. So I get y minus 3 equals uh, a negative 3 halves x. All right? Well, when I do this, I'm going to change. I'm going to rewrite this. Another trick we can do. <laughs> We're multiplying x by a fraction. To do that, I'm going to put x over 1 to show you that x is actually in the numerator here. All right? So this is what we have. So what we can do to split this apart is we're dividing by 2. So we're going to do the opposite, and we're going to multiply by 2. This whole side, we're going to multiply by 2. So these cancel, and this is 2 times y and 2 times negative 3. So I get 2y minus 6, and these cancel, and that's equal to negative 3x. All right, now we see that that is multiplication. So we've got to divide by 3 negative 3. All right, so I get a negative 2 thirds y, and this is a positive 2. And that's what x equals. This is my x-intercept, is 2. So that's where they cross. That's my solution to the graph, to the system of equations. When I graph it, that's my solution. It crosses at 2, 0. That's my solution to this problem, 2, 0. So there's one solution. When the two, x, when the two functions cross, two lines, intersection is one point. Next one. This one is giving us the y-intercept at 2. I'm going to graph it. Now we solve this for x. To do that, we've got to subtract 2 from both sides. So I get y minus 2 equals a negative 2x. Now i got to divide by negative 2. Okay, we get x equals negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1. And this is like negative 1 half x. 
This is a positive one because we're dividing by a negative. Okay, so my x-intercept is 1. So right here, we've got our two points. I'm going to draw the line. That's the graph of that equ first equation. <coughs> this one, let's put it over here. So I have 4x plus 2y equals a negative 8. I solve for x, subtract 2y, subtract 2y. So I get 4x equals a minus 2y minus 8. I divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. I get x equals a negative 1 half y. And this is going to be a minus 2. That's my x-intercept right there, minus 2. Now I'm going to solve for y and get my y-intercept. So to do that, i got to subtract my 4x up here. So I'm going to get 2y equals a minus 4x minus 8. So I subtracted that 4x, this eliminated it, and moved it over on this side. So I have 4x minus 8. I'm dividing by 2, so I get y equals a negative 2x minus 4. So that is 2, 4. That is my y-intercept. So here is the graph of that line. So it looks like it looks like I have two parallel lines. And if I have two parallel lines, I have zero solutions. But let's check the slope. So let's do rise over run. So this is a drop of 2 and over 1. So this is a negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2 slope. Let's see what this is. This is a drop of 2, 4. We're going down 4. We're going over 2. So this is a slope of negative 4 divided by 2, which negative 4 divided by 2 is also is also um, negative 2. So they are equivalent. So these are parallel lines. So we have no solution here. All right, let's go to our bisector. We got this as review. So we have a bisector, a segment bisector that's bisects AD. When we have a bisector that cuts it right, that segment, exactly in half, in two equal halves. Okay? So this half equals this half. So when that happens, our strategy is we should set those two halves equal to each other and solve for x. So here's information on AC, and here's information on CD. So 5x minus 8 is this section, and 16 minus 3x is this section. So we set those two expressions equal to each other, and we solve for x. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. I get 8x equals, well, minus 8 equals 16. Now I'm going to add 8. I'm going to add 8. So I get 8x equals 24. Divide by 8, divide by 8. Well, x is equal to 3. And that's what they want. That's our answer. They want to know the value of x. x equals 3. That's our, that's our solution. So that's our strategy. When we have bisector, we, have, we set the two sides equal to each other, and we solve for x. This one was the coordinate image of, of our midpoint after reflection crossed line y equals a negative x. Well, so m24 is right here. So we're trying to figure out what that image is going to be when we reflect it over the line y equal x. You can kind of count. So this is going to be a direct reflection. So you see there's like a diagonal here. The shortest distance to that line is going to be reflected on the other side. So I'm counting points here, and I see that there's three. It's three diagonally away. Well, I count three on the other side. One, two, three. 
That's my reflection right there. And that point is negative 4, negative 2. And that would be letter B. All right. This is Mr. Bloom, and that's the homework for Monday, September 23rd, here at Paytel High School. Remember, practice these problems until you don't get them wrong. All right? Hang in there, and we'll see you in the morning.